I the meanest? Sure no. Am I the prettiest? Sure no. Am I the baddest mofo low down around this town? Sure no. Well, who am I? Sure no. Who am I? Sure no. I can't hear you. Sure no. All right, guys, um, it's Friday. This is technically the last day of my, well, I still got Saturday and Sunday, but I really don't count those because I'm off on weekends anyway. But this is the last day of my vacation. Um, I had, as you can see, I've, I haven't made a video in probably about two or three weeks. I've been moving. Uh, still don't have everything together like like I want it, but um, like I said, I just moved into my new house, so I'm um, still in the process of doing a lot of things, man. Um, haven't got a chance to make any videos, uh, talk Dallas Cowboy talk or anything. Haven't got a chance to watch the news or anything like that. Um, just in, in the process of you know, getting used to the area, getting used to the neighborhood. As y'all can see behind me, this is a new development. Uh, it's brand spanking new. So, it's really, I'm, in the, I'm actually in the middle of nowhere. Um, I'm farther from a job, so I think it takes, it takes me like close to an hour to get to work. My wife is closer to her job. Y'all know how that go. So, once again, hard for the men, easy for the women. Uh, <laughs> But, um, you know, that's about it, man. Um, that's all I've been doing. I'm, I'm still tired, man. Um, I think, what was that? We, we moved in. We got the keys on, on Monday, and we moved in Tuesday. Uh, we had the movers come out and haul everything for us. Um, we didn't have our refrigerator right away. We had to buy a brand-new refrigerator because uh, the one we had went out. So we didn't get that delivered till yesterday morning. So we were we were without a refrigerator for three days technically. Um, so we we were eating fast food and all that stuff. The kids loved it. I, my my system. I'm getting up there in age, so my body was not acting right to fast food. I can't stand it. Uh, we've had every fast food place I can you can think of. You can imagine. Um, but we got it yesterday morning, um, went grocery shopping. Grocery bill was probably damn near $300. I've never spent so much money in so little time, ever. But when you move into a new house, you move, period, you're going to spend a lot of money. Um, I'm just kind of walking around. This is the first time I got a, got a chance to really just walk the neighborhood. Um, I mean, I like it. It's, it's really nice, secluded, quiet. Um, we're far from, um, I'm not too far from Frisco, uh, Jerry's World, but I am farther, further from the stadium. Good job. Go back in the house. Um, I'm, I'm further from uh, AT&T Stadium. So I used to be kind of close, but now I'm further away. So, um, you know, everything I do now, I, I everything used to be right at the street, all the stores, convenient of everything was right there now i have to get in my car and really just drive so if i want to go somewhere I, I have to think about it first before i can hey am i gonna go or no <laughs> it can't you know but um it's pretty cool man I, I love it i love this area um like i said i haven't really got a chance i'm sorry i'm running my mouth but uh i haven't really got a chance to run my mouth about dallas cowboy anything uh, i've been just getting the house set up getting my media room set up that's probably i'm still working on that so it's gonna be a while before i get that up and running but um i got that's my project um i was looking at a couple of espn you know shows and they were talking about Dak, Dak prescott him needing a number one receiver does he need a number one receiver or can he live on without one um in my view every quarterback needs I'm not gonna even call him a, a number one receiver I'm gonna call him a go-to receiver every quarterback needs a go-to receiver 
without a go-to receiver, um, you're on an island. You're trapped on an island in no man's land. You got to have somebody you can go to. Um, to uh, oh, that's real nice. You got to have somebody. You have you got to have somewhere to go. You have you have to have a receiver to go to uh, when you're stuck in a jam. Uh, that was Jason Witten for Dak or Cole Beasley. Uh, him and Dez, y'all already know the story on that. They didn't get along too well. Uh, they they weren't they were not in cahoots with each other. They didn't get the time or the chance to really really grow and learn, uh, like Eggman and Irvin or Montana and Rice or Steve Young and Rice or you know and so on. Um, they didn't get the, that opportunity. Um, I still think we should have shouldn't have let Dez go, but it is what it is. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to sit up and say, oh, Alan Hearn's going to be number one to see. I really don't care. Uh, the most important thing for Dak is the run game. That is the most important thing. That is the Dallas Cowboy way. Uh, that's what we do. We run the ball. Even back when in the Emmett days, we ran the ball down your throat. Didn't matter if you, didn't matter if you knew we were going left or right. And I sound like a broken record. I've said this a million times. Um, but uh, once we get that running game back, oh, here's a new house being built right here. Wow. And one next to it. Uh, see? Look at that. So once we, uh, once we get that, once we figure out that's what we need to get back to, then we'll be fine. Uh, we'll be, we'll be fine. Um, that's Dak, that's Dak Prescott main concern. That's his main concern. Main focus is the running game, making sure that that running game is, uh, cause that's going to get him out of a jam. See last year he got kind of put on blast because he was young. It was just his second, uh, second year without Romo, you know, coaching him on the sideline. Um, and it was just his second year. So he really didn't get to, you know, he got his ass handed to him last year. And everybody wanted to turn their back on Dak. Oh, Dak, he sucked. He sucked. Dak sucks. No, it's not that he sucked. He just, that's the transitional period for, for a young quarterback. And, and last year was that time. Now, this year he has to prove himself. He really has to prove himself and uh, um, prove a lot of people wrong, including us fans, because we run our mouths too damn much. We talk shit and we run our mouths and we sit on our couches. We don't do a damn thing. So we don't. A lot of us haven't played a down of football. We just run our fucking mouths. But uh, Dak Prescott, I think it's gonna be a good year for him. I, I believe so. I believe he'll be fine, as uh, long as that running game is, is is straight. And see, Dak is a, a mobile quarterback too. Y'all gotta remember that. So when things break down, when when he has nowhere to turn, when nobody's open, he can just run the ball himself, like Randall Cunningham used to do back in the day, or like Michael Vick. He's not as fast as those guys, but he can run that ball. So. You know, we we have options. My damn arm is getting tired. Let me switch arms. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. But anyway, um, he has options. So um, as long as that line is, is okay, I think he'll be fine. Dak Prescott will be fine. But um, anyway, guys, I um, this has been a, a stressful, tiring experience. Uh, we um, Moving is tough. Uh, especially moving into a brand new house, you know, the last house I, I had, it was used, you know, it was, a, it was about five, five years old, five, or six years old, moving to a brand new house. You got to keep going in and out and making sure everything is, is all right. You got to do five or six walkthroughs. Uh, you know, they, I think the class was, you have to take classes. Like seriously, I think I took a, an online course that was like three hours and uh, it was crazy, man, crazy. I'm like, whoa, this is new to me. It was new to me all over again. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. But, um, guys, make sure you stay prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. <sighs> Ask me. Holla back. I'm out.